everybody, I'm JNL Game, and today I'm here to tell you about one of the greatest American soundtracks for an anime of all time. Yo! Don't give it up, Luffy. Don't give it up, Zoro. Don't give it up, Navi. Don't give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Now that's what I'm talking about. The Bruce Falconer themes for Dragon Ball Z always got you in the mood to watch some kick-ass action. There were so many great themes from the soundtrack, but today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 personal favorites. Now try to remember that this is all strictly my personal opinion, so if your favorites didn't make it on the list, it doesn't mean that I don't like them, it just means that they're not my favorites. And now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's start the countdown. Even though this theme is called Gohan Fights Frieza, I think of it more as a general theme for Gohan when he was a kid. It's the perfect theme for the little guy. It has a nice, slow, and calm part, which transitions into pure badassery. Trust me when I say that you don't want to be anywhere near Gohan when this theme starts playing. The beginning even sounds like it has a sort of alarm going off in the background. Almost as if it's saying, you've messed with the wrong kid. And then, well this happens. This theme proves that big things really do come in small packages. I bet you didn't expect a track like this to appear on this list. This theme is so robotic and atmospheric, it almost sounds like it's straight out of a Metroid game. It fits the two mysterious and threatening androids perfectly. Seriously, this sounds like Dragon Ball Z meets freaking Lavender Town, it's just so creepy! Anything would seem threatening with this plate over it. Talk about dramatic. This piece made some of the most intense parts of the series even more epic. Like how about when Gohan beats Cell? Strange last words. Or how about when Kid Boo blew up the Earth? Why are you doing this? There'll be nothing, nothing left at all! Please, Boo! <laughs> and of course, the scene it was originally intended for. 
Never before has a frog spinning in the air ever seemed so important. Just put this theme over any meager task and it'll suddenly feel like its outcome will decide the fate of the world. Yep, it's a tie for seven. I just couldn't decide between these two themes for Hercule, because each seemed to personify Hercule's character perfectly, just during different times in the series. Wrestling Rock makes you want to revel in how awesome you are, which makes it a perfect fit for Cell Games Hercule. The cocky, arrogant man who always wants to be the center of attention <laughs> believes he's the strongest You're going down and is always talking some massive trash to anyone foolish enough to challenge him. Cell, you see these pieces of busted tile on the ground? <laughs> well, that's what I'm gonna do. To your face! Ah, his ignorance is painful. Hercules' orchestra is more fun and lighthearted, which reflects Hercules' character during the Boo Saga. At this point in the story, Hercule knows he's surrounded by people who are way stronger than he is, but he still has to keep up his image as a hero and the savior of Earth, which leads to some pretty funny situations. Damn, the white trunks, you can do it! <laughs> Quiet there, kid! Watch your mouth! Let's not encourage him too much, okay? Wrestling Rock with Lead and Hercule's Orchestra, the two perfect themes for everyone's favorite fake hero. Well, the truth is, I don't have a chance of beating him. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, hey, uh, I'm totally serious. This theme makes it on the list for just being so fast-paced and energetic. It may have some awkward pauses during the intensity, But when it gets going, it really gets going. This theme will get your blood pumping so fast, you'll want to run a marathon. Okay, well, maybe not. But regardless, this theme never fails to get me on the edge of my seat. That's it, Goku. Way to go, Dad. I guess you were right about not being able to sense their power levels. Talk about classic. When I think about Dragon Ball Z's American soundtrack, this is easily one of the first themes that comes to my mind. The ruthless Prince of Saiyans couldn't ask for a more fitting theme. Well, at least until he became a Super Saiyan, but we'll get to that later. That guitar and those surprisingly intimidating bells never fail to let you know that Vegeta is nearby and ready to kick some ass. If you ever hear this theme start to play, run.
Has there ever been a moment in your life where out of nowhere something so incredible happened that you could only stare and marvel at how amazing it was? Well if so, this theme would be the music that would go with it. This theme plays during Gohan's Super Saiyan 2 transformation. While his father and all of his friends were being horribly beaten, Gohan could do nothing but watch. But after a pep talk from Android 16 and his death, Gohan could sit quietly no longer. Just look at the expressions on all the Z Warriors' faces. They can't believe this intense power is coming from the kind and gentle Gohan. Even Cell can't help but just stare. And to be honest, Cell, with this look on his face, is one of the first things I think of when I hear this theme. I do have one problem with this music, though. At one part, for about 10 seconds, the music shifts to some strange, goofy-sounding mess, which almost seems to foreshadow Gohan's future. Let me show you. Yeah, Gohan, you're so freaking cool! The Great Saiyan! Wait, what the hell is he doing? About your hair. It might be better short. Oh my god, make it stop! Well, that's... that's much better. Well, anyway, this theme still makes me stop and stare every time I hear it. And hey, Gohan even got to use it one more time as an adult. So, good for him. <laughs> so, Hotshot, you want to fight Majin Buu? Fight you? No, I want to kill you. Hell yes. This is what I was talking about earlier during Vegeta's normal theme. Do I even really need to explain why this theme is so amazing? That freaking piano just Mmm! So good! Just look up any moment in this series when this music is playing, and you'll understand. My personal favorite moments being Vegeta's final flash, and when Gohan's Kamehameha overpowers cells. Whenever someone tells you you're not good enough, but you prove them wrong, this is the music you definitely want to hear. Dang, Gohan's themes just kept getting better as he got older. If only the same could be said about his character. Regardless, when this theme plays while Gohan becomes Mystic Gohan, you get a real sense that this power is something not of this world. When I hear this music, I feel so confident that I think I could accomplish anything I set my mind to. This music gives you something to believe in and fills you with hope. Yeah, Gohan, you can do it! I believe in you! Oh, uh, hmm. This theme is the polar opposite of the last one. While that theme filled you with hope, this theme fills you with unfathomable despair. Hmm, hope and despair, huh? What is this, Dangan Rampa? <laughs> eh, who am I kidding? No one knows what that is. But seriously, just listen to this first part. <laughs> 
It really sounds like you're staring your death right in the face, but can only stand still, completely helpless. And once you've realized just how screwed you are, well... It's just so wild and chaotic. It's the perfect theme for Boo, a monster that aimlessly causes pain and destruction everywhere he goes, loving every minute of it. What more can I say? Super Boo's theme, my absolute favorite theme from Dragon Ball Z's American soundtrack. Majin Boo won! Yes, I did it, 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 I did it! <laughs> oh yeah! Who's on top now? Majin Boo! Me, you Big loudmouth jerk! <laughs> and there you have it. Did your favorites make it on the list? Let me know in the comments below. And also, let me know if you liked this video, because I'd love to do more of these, but only if I know that you guys will like them. So, that'd help out a lot if you would tell me. Oh, and I recently started discussing Dragon Ball Super episodes, so if you're interested in that, then click the video on screen and it'll take you to the first part. And as always, thank you for watching, guys, and bye bye